In Parshat Nitzavim Vayelech, Moshe praises the Torah to the Jewish people. And he says, Ki karov hadavar ma'od, that this matter, the Torah, is very close to you. Beficha ubil vavachal asoto, in your mouth and in your heart to do. The Torah is beautiful, and the Torah will help you in all situations. And the Midrash quotes a verse from the book of Proverbs, which expands upon us. And the verse in Proverbs says, Ki chaim heim lamotza'ehem, they are life to those who find them. And they bring healing to all of one's flesh. And the Midrash explains these two different aspects. It actually speaks about the second one first. It brings healing to the flesh. Now, that doesn't mean necessarily that if you're feeling sick and you learn Torah, it's going to make you physically well. You have to go see a doctor. But I would explain that when, when one is in a sense of a general malaise, somewhat of a depression and anxious, and you sit down and you study and you concentrate. The Torah has the power within it to lift you up, to make you feel better. There's a statement in the Talmud that it says, Chash Barosho Yasuk Bator. You have a little bit of a headache, go and engage in Torah. And you'll find that it'll disappear. It has that ability within it. It has a light, it has a, a vigor to make you feel energized. So that's the first aspect. The second aspect, which is the beginning of the verse, Ki Chaim Heim Lamotza for they are, it is life for those who find them. And here the Midrash has three plays on the word motzi'ehem, for those who find them. The first one is motzi'ehem bepeh, that the Torah is powerful if you actually say it out with your mouth. The Talmud is very particular that when you learn Torah, you shouldn't say it softly. You should actually say it aloud, and this helps with concentration. It helps to understand it. And if you're speaking to another person, like when you go to yeshiva, there's a lot of shouting. People are talking to one another. But... It's not something that's learned quietly. It's, you have to engage your entire body and also your mouth. You have to speak it out. So that's the first aspect. The second aspect is, It is life to those who find them. The play on words is, If you make them available to others. Torah is wonderful, but it shouldn't just be kept for you. The midst of learning is to learn and to teach. When you've learned some Torah, go and share it with somebody else. Obviously, it has to be palatable to that person. It has to be given over and communicated in a proper way. But it will bring life to those who make it available to others. And the third thing that the Midrash says, the third play on words, is that the person is mamtsi ota. He extracts every last drop. Sometimes you read a passage of the Torah and you think, well, is this what it means? It's so simplistic. It doesn't make sense. It contradicts you know, laws of nature or science or whatever. Well, that's because you haven't fully understood it. In fact, the Torah says that if you don't understand it, the problem is your problem. When you learn Torah, you have to extract from it each and every drop. It's something that's precious to you. You have a really wonderful drink or some food that you enjoy. You want, to, you want to suck every last drop out of it. That's how the Torah has to be. So Moshe promised the Jewish people, he said to them, the Torah will always be there for you. It will bring healing to your bones. It will take away your, your stress and your anxiety. And it'll bring life to those who find it. Life to those who speak it out. Life to those who make it available to others. And life to those who extract every drop. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.